It may be a stereotype that the family plays a central role in Indian life, but that doesn't mean that it isn't true. A freshly minted husband or wife acquires a new family along with his or her spouse, which can make things pretty complicated if the respective in-laws are locked in a bitter rivalry. The highly successful comedy Keeping Up With The Kandasamis played on this theme, and the team has gone on to create a fresh episode in the story, focusing on the wedding. Mela attended the world premiere of the new movie, which was a dazzling affair in Durban. The Kandasami saga began in 2017 with the release of Keeping Up With The Kandasamis. This proudly South African rom-com starred Mishka Partipal and Madhushan Singh as two young lovebirds, with Mahesh Naika and Jailosh Naidu as mothers and neighbours who loathe each other. Although the movie ended happily, the story couldn't end there, and film fans were clamouring for a sequel. This is unusual for a local production, but the Kandasamis believe in the motto, Go Big or Go Home. Durban's A-list arrived for the premiere and Mela secured a one-on-one -on -one with co-writer Rory Booth. Jane and I work very well together. She brings in a lot of the focus, the drive, the procedures and I come in there with the wild creativity and the, the jokes and, and she's always like straight and narrow. That combination makes I think for a good film. The Jayan whom Rory had in mind was of course the director and co-writer Jayan Mudley. I think I just feel incredibly blessed. We have what I call the A-team, the cast and the crew who are truly phenomenal. I'd always said that when we're going to do a sequel it has to be bigger and better or we're not going to do it. And I truly believe that we have gone bigger and better, we've gone, we've put more heart into the story. Our cast have given more of themselves, they've worked so hard. With the sequel ready to be screened, the cast and crew could at last relax a little. Madhushan Singh is a regular presenter on Mela, but this time he would be answering the questions. Playing the role of Prashen was a role of a lifetime. Of course, it's a comedy, it's a family comedy, it's a love story. And to explore all of that with such a wonderful cast and you know, to step into those shoes once again, it was fantastic. Mishka Partipal takes the role of the bride-to-be and while her character may be petite, she's no pushover. I mean, in every wedding, mums always take over, right? But I'll tell you this much, Jodi puts up a fair fight to get what she wants. Shanti Naidu has one major thorn in her side and that's Jennifer Kandasamy, played by Jay Loshni Naidu. Jay Loshni plays a personality quite the opposite to her own and enjoys every moment of it. It was delightful to be back, having done it the first time and seeing the success of the first movie. I, uh, I think we all came back with renewed energy and we couldn't wait to make the sequel. I found these. Sometimes even enemies have to find common ground. And Mayeshni Naika plays Shanti Naidu as a fiercely protective mom who just wants everyone to be happy. I love playing Shanti because she's so fun. I think you identify with her because she's that ideal Indian mom that wants to please everyone, wants to invite everybody over and cook a hearty meal. What this? Ma, okay, it, it's a G-string, Ma. Mariam Basa plays the role of Aya, a granny who still has a lot of go in her and who applies the wisdom of her years when dispensing advice. To be uh, the favourite granny is uh, something that's been foisted on me. I didn't know that. I am really very uh, happy and excited to know that I'm popular in uh, South Africa amongst all the people. <laughs> Kubesh Naidu plays Elvis Gandasami, who is far more down-to-earth than his wife. People just thoroughly enjoyed us because we were natural. They identified with us. They saw us as somebody who was part of their family. And I think that helped us so much in the second one as well. The project was supported by the KwaZulu-Natal Film Commission. The Kanda Sadam is a worthwhile project because, I mean, it really reflects on society. It is quite authentic. It doesn't try to copy anything out there. And also, because of that, it is going to be quite a winner. The fans at the premiere certainly shared Simpiwe's expectations. I'm really excited to see the movie tonight. Well, it's going to be the wedding of the year, and perhaps it will inspire me to get married. I'm expecting to see a lot of laughter, a lot of fun. You've got the best of the cream of the crop talent-wise in the film, and uh, the story gives you um, an in-depth look at what's really going down. And it's absolutely hilarious. I'm looking forward to this one. It's the wedding. <laughs> You couldn't miss the sense of anticipation among the production team, actors and the audience as the last seconds ticked by before the first frames lit up the screen. 
Oh, Shanti, this is going to be the wedding of the year. So I was thinking we must have that big gold Ganesha on the main stage. No, 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 no. You really want to do this, Shanti? Do you want to take me on, Jennifer? I don't do yoga and taibo for nothing. <laughs> no. And the tablecloths and overlays must be burnt orange and black. Before you know it, we'll only see our appreciation at weddings and birthdays. Yeah. And funerals, huh? Yeah, my funeral. Because if he leaves me, I'll die. Oh, definitely not. And Jody must wear cerise and yellow for her bridal colours. What happens if Prishian and Jody actually want a small wedding? Oh, Shanti. What? <laughs> Can the Samis don't do small? You'll never see them standing there. No. <laughs> that is such a farm mentality. Yeah, I'm from the farm. I rest my case.